I didn't expect that. Close enough. Wow. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we got the brand new Hammer Web Pearl. You know, it's got a little bit of green in it. Looks pretty nice, actually. We're gonna be comparing against the Web MB and the Black Widow 2.0, all in the same product line from Hammer. So we're gonna test it on the lanes, see what the differences are. All right, with that being said, we got a symmetric here versus two asymmetric balls. So just with that, I think this is gonna have a little bit less hook potential and maybe a little bit more back end down lane. Widow 2.0 is gonna hook the most, earliest and the most. It's got the strongest core, strongest cover, and then the WebMB is gonna fit somewhere in between there. So to test these three balls, we're gonna be bowling on carbon, 42 feet, very fresh, just oiled. Probably be ideal for the Black Widow 2.0, just because it's early, very smooth and predictable, and it's got a big cover on it. So I think this ball is really gonna shine on this pattern. And something like the Web Pearl here, it might go a little bit too far down lane, might corner a little bit too hard for the fresh, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So the core in the Web Pearl here has the same core as the original Web, among other balls. So if you really like that ball, this might be a really good option for you too. With it being a Sim Pearl, later in the day, later in the block comes to mind when the lane's a little bit burnt up, when the heads are gone, a little bit dry in the front part of the lane, oil's pushed down to the back, you really need that angular kick in the back end. I think this is where this ball is really gonna fit. With Barks being left-handed, he doesn't see burn too much, maybe once or twice a year, that's about it. So a ball like this Web Pearl here is really gonna be a specialty ball for him. Maybe if he goes bowling wooden lanes or some guardian lanes or something like that, then this ball would be in his tournament bag, I think, for sure. So Bark's gonna try his best to throw this ball at five and not have it ping off the corner. And hopefully we can see a real nice difference between these three and if there's a spot for all three in a tournament bag or your tournament bag. The boys are making fun of me. They think I got a hat tan. You know, what do you guys think? I don't see anything. All right, that's enough with Jungle. Let's take it to the lanes and watch Bark's bowl. Hey guys, welcome back. The new Web Pearl. Now this ball is a re-release. It came out a couple of years ago in black and silver. I'm not gonna lie, I hated that ball. We got a new jade and smoke color scheme here. Let's see if they can uh, change my mind this time. So we're back on 42 foot carbon. It's a 10 to one ratio. It's similar to your typical house shot. Now I had to stand way right in practice. This is probably the farthest right I've ever been. Let's see how much fun we can have out here. Standing on 35. Let's be right over third arrow. Made a little too deep that time. That shot was pretty close. Just got a little too far down the lane. Didn't corner quite hard enough. I'm gonna move my feet to left. That thing is unbelievably violent on the back end. That's the sharpest ball I've ever seen. This is not the ball reaction I remember. Now the previous ball for me rolled really early and didn't do that on the back end. So far I'm impressed. Let's see how much angle I can create. Let's move a little bit further right again. Go two and two again. Get my hand around it, back the speed out a bit. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I hate playing those angles, that ball looks good. I'm gonna make a little ball change. I'm gonna try out the Web MB. So we got a slightly different cover on the WebMB. It's Semtex versus Aggression Pearl. Similar strength, but this ball really floats down the lane. I think if I play the same line, it'll cover the same amount of boards, but just be a little bit more round because of the asymmetry. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it just stands up a little bit earlier, and it's not so quick off the spot. That's actually a really nice shape. Unfortunately, it's haven't been on that one. I haven't left one of those yet, that's pretty good. So I think for me, the adjustment is actually moving a touch to the left and getting to the friction early. Let's move back two left, go two and two. Oh. 
Yeah, it just picks up a touch earlier and doesn't quite corner as hard. So I think a ball like the Web MB is gonna be better when it's broken down a little bit, but when it's burned up, I think the Web Pearl is gonna be a better option for you. Let's see if I can pack one here. Yeah, good little progression there. When that Web MB starts to burn up a little bit quick, and you start to leave those flat corner pins, it's time to move to the Web Pearl. All right, question time with Barks. Now we got the brand new Web Pearl here. Same ball as before, but in a different color. Is there a particular ball that you want to see re-released from the past? And if so, which color? Let me know in the comments below. So there's one more ball left in the upper midline from Hammer. That's the Widow 2.0. Now this ball has been really, really popular since it came out. It's a ball I throw a fair amount. It doesn't burn up too early, it retains energy really well. But I do have to play a little further right because of how much more it hooks. I'm gonna stand 36, I'm gonna roll this over 16. That was 15. Yeah, close enough, it struck. You can really see how much more this stands up and how much earlier it wants to hook. I got that one further left and it just stood up and just smashed those pins. Nice little mixer. I'm going to move another two right, try and hit 16. Keep the speed down so it makes the corner. Enough oil in the middle, it holds line, 10 back. So let's throw that same shot with the Web Pearl that we just threw with the 2.0, the Black Widow 2.0. We should get further down the lane. I don't know if it'll make it back the same way. Let's see. Just pushes that hair too far. Doesn't quite want to make the corner. So having thrown all three balls in the line, I'm definitely going to throw the Black Widow 2.0 on the fresh. Once that burns up a little bit, I think the WebMB is the perfect ball to go to. And then when it's really torn up, it's really dry, Web Pearl. Now it's pretty close on that one. I'm going to move back two left. Going to roll this over 14. I want to make sure I get to the dry. Then we'll send it home. That's pretty good right there. Let's send it back to the shop. So we're back from the lanes again. Let's talk about the Web Pearl. Now this is a re-release. This ball came out a couple years ago in a different color scheme. Uh, it's been re-released in a really, really good looking jade and smoke color. So for the review today, we took a look at the entire product line, the whole upper mid price point from Hammer. So let's start with the real beast, the tank, the Black Widow 2.0. Now I had to stand the furthest right and it came back from the furthest left. This thing is a beast on the house shot. Now from what I saw there, the next step in the progression is actually the, the Web MB. The cover's about the same strength as the new Web Pearl, but the asymmetric core gets it rolling a little bit sooner and gives me a more rounded shape off the end of the pattern. Now with the Web Pearl here, I actually had to take a step to the right in order to open up my angles because they're just creating so much angle down lane. I think the Web Pearl here is going to be really, really good when the pattern is broken down a lot, but we bowled on fresh today and it just wasn't quite the right shape. I didn't have quite the room for error as I did with the WebMB or with the Black Widow 2.0. Being left-handed, I, I don't really get to see the burn very often. So I'm not sure how much use I'm gonna get out of this ball. However, I try scuffing it a little bit to kind of smooth out that reaction shape and maybe I'll get a little bit more play out of it as well. Now I made no secret out there on the lanes. I really didn't like the first version of this ball. For some reason, for me, it rolled really early and didn't continue down lane at all. Very unpredictable, and it's, even though we have the same core and cover stock formulation, the ball reaction's a whole lot different. It's a lot more angular down lane, really clean through the fronts as well. As far as who would I recommend the ball to, uh, I think if you're right-handed and you bowl in a center with a lot of friction, I think a ball like this is gonna be really good for you. We don't have a ton of friction built in in the lanes here, so I usually gravitate towards the solids, ball like the Black Widow 2.0. If I take the polish off the Web Pearl, it might actually get some use for me as well. So don't forget to answer my question below in the comments. Which ball would you like to see re-released? And if so, which color would you like to see it in? Now for me personally, if I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna have to go with the Statement Solid. That was a ball I threw a ton. I probably had a few hundred games on mine. It just died after a while. And if I'm gonna change the color on it, I would swap out the purple and put the powder blue. Something real bright and vibrant. Can't miss that ball. All right, that's a wrap here. Stay tuned for our next video.